The biggest limitation of Airtable is the inability to get really granular with the permissions that you give people when you give them access to your database. This is a massive problem because the more and more data you have, the more you want to share it with others, but you also want to do it in a conscious way that gives people the information they need without showing them everything. This is particularly important when you're dealing with people outside of your organization, third parties, you know, clients, uh, or other people that you are interacting with that you need to give accessibility to without giving, you know, all the information away and letting them see everything. Well, thanks to a new product that's being developed currently, this is now going to be a thing of the past. We're going to be jumping into exactly what this new product looks like called Air Portal, and uh, I'm going to be walking you through a behind the scenes uh, shot of the beta that's currently being tested. So if that's of interest to you, stick around and let's get into it. Hi, my name is Gareth Pronovost. I'm the owner of Gap Consulting, where we help people to get organized and automated in their businesses and work lives so that they have more time doing the things that they love. Now, in this video, as I mentioned, we're gonna be going into uh, a behind the scenes vision or view of the beta testing that's currently underway for a new process, a new program called Air Portal. Now, Air Portal is going to give you the capabilities of sharing very specific snips of data in your database with people that you wanna share it with. As I mentioned in the intro, this is incredibly powerful when it comes to giving people access, especially if they're outside of your organization. So if you're working with clients or if you're working with strategic partners and you don't want them to see what the other strategic partners have, this is the way to do it. This product is gonna revolutionize, rev, revolutionize the way that we work with Airtable. It's gonna be a massive, massive shift in the way that we build and I, I can't state enough how powerful this is going to be. So with that being said, let's just take a look at what's possible within the software. As I mentioned, it is in beta. There are still some bugs to be worked out, uh, but you know, come along and let's jump into my screen and take a look at what we have here. So this is an actual view of what I'm currently working on building inside of Air Portal. Uh, Air Portal, uh, again, is this app that allows me to see the data that lives inside of my database. So you see here, I have a very simple database built in Airtable. I have six pretend clients. One of them I've even given, um, you know, one of them is pretend and I've, I'm even linking to my own personal email here so that I can access this Air Portal from my personal email. And, uh, but the other ones are, of course, just examples. And then I have these consultations here that link back to my clients. So the idea in this example is that, uh, you know, we have people who are pre-ordering some consultation time with us uh, and we are setting them up with that. Now, in some cases, we have upcoming, uh, upcoming events. In other cases, we have past sessions. But in all cases, we want to be able to share with them, hey, here are those things that you did here are those consultations that you or your company bought. And we also want to be able to supply them with a recording link. So you can imagine like if, if I were doing this and recording in Zoom, it would be, you know, uh, zoom.com slash example, right? They're going to have each, each one of these sessions after it's recorded is going to have its own unique URL. Whether that's in Zoom or whether you're hosting that, you know, locally on your computer in a shared drive. I said locally. If it's in a shared drive in like Google Drive or something, that is all possible, right? These are all different ways that we could share files of that sort, but we wanna be able to share that information with the client and put it in one nice place for them so that they can just go there and see you know, a list of all of their personal recordings. Very, very powerful thing. And up until now, this would have required a very, uh, like very highly uh, uh, manual process because we could have built unique uh, links or unique views for each client, right? We could create a view, let's say, just for Bat Masterson in Airtable. And we would do, the, do it so like so. And then we would have to apply a filter that is looking specifically for the client that is Bat Masterson. 
and then we would have to lock this down and then we'd have to share this view with uh, with that person or that team and it's just you know it's a very manual process it's not easy to onboard clients this way because there's a lot of manual steps and of course you run the risk of if somebody accidentally unfilters this data all of a sudden bat masterson and team will see the entire you know roster of your business and that's not what you want so air portal is going to be a game changer in that regard so let's take a look at what we're doing here inside of air portal i've already connected it here as you can see and i have access to the exact same data that i was viewing back on the other page so let's go ahead and, and drill in here and take a look at what everyone is seeing so you see here i've got the clients and they i have only the data that i wanted to include on these cards that's first and foremost so anything that i wanted to filter out uh, i have the capability of doing so and i do that just by setting up my uh, my different permissions here so inside of my clients i can come in i can configure these fields let's take a look at how easy all of this is you can see that when i'm displaying client information i don't want them to see full name because that's redundant but i could bring it in and show you how easy it is to just drag that around or remove it so these are the this is access to the various elements of those tables that we have in this case clients and we just drag it around i can move these pieces and bring them in quite effortlessly as you see there uh, and so then we can also add text, we can add new containers, we can add headings. Uh, all of this information is, uh, is fairly simple. We can just add to it so that this shows up now for all of uh, the clients. I'm going to remove that and uh, just save this layout as it is. And let's take a look. You know, similar thing happens then for consultations. But now we have this awesome app and anyone uh, inside of our database will have access to log in but and here's the best part only see things that belong to them so we identify what the client is when they log in by their email and password right and so when we have that email then we're matching that email to the client and therefore the client only sees their own data so in this case if I had logged in as Pat uh, you know, you I would only be seeing Pat's or if I logged in as Doc Holiday, I would only see Doc Holiday stuff. Um, and then inside of here, these are the you know consultations then, and they can drill into this and see more information. So if we'd included a recording link here, they would have access to that data, and it would be here uh, inside of inside of their base. So they could always just have access to only those things that we want them to, nice and easily. Now, really quickly before I sign off here, I wanna show you how easy it is to customize the various parts of this app. Uh, so if I were to drill out to the setup page, you see that I even have the ability to change the appearance of my, uh, my settings. So you can imagine how, from a company perspective, how awesome this is for you to be able to now have access to creating an app very quickly that relates to your Airtable database where you can upload your own icon, your own logo, give it your own brand color, share it with your clients so that when they're logging in, it looks like they're just logging into your site. Very, very cool, um, you know, great use case here. And there are just so many different things that we can do with this when we are drilling into this. Now, of course, I'm logging in uh, from an admin, and again, this is in beta. If you're interested in giving this a test and you wanna learn more about what they have going on here at Air Portal, I'll definitely include a link in the description of this video. So check that out. See if, uh, if you want to apply to get on their beta test. I think they might still be accepting folks, uh, but just for a short time. Uh, as you can imagine, and as I said already, this is going to revolutionize the way we work in Airtable. So I'm really excited to be bringing it to you. And before I sign off, just a quick nod to the team over there at Airportal. Thank you so much for working with me as we continue to build this out. I hope that uh, the advice I gave you was helpful, and I really appreciate all that you guys are doing here. I think it's amazing. So with that being said, we'll sign off for now. I will definitely be uh, including updates about this, though, as this uh, technology uh, improves and advances. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be super helpful. If you did and you have some business questions that you'd like to run by us, definitely swing by our website. The link will be in the description and we offer up time so that we can hop on a call with you 
You can book directly there and we can set something up that works for both of us. What we'll be discussing is building a solution for you that puts all of your data in one place and gives you a nice concise dashboard so that you know what's happening in your business at all times. Additionally, we will work on building custom bespoke automation for you so that you can eliminate the time that you spend on repetitive tasks and save countless hours every week. So if that's of interest, definitely swing by our website and check out the different offers that we have there.